Today, we're reviewing the Sealy Posture Fitted Carver, a coil mattress that offers a very firm option for under $1,000. Firm mattresses aren't for everybody, but they do have an intense following for advocates that swear by their benefits. Sadly, we're not gonna resolve that debate today, but we will run the Posture Fitted Carver through our battery of 10 objective and data-driven tests to see if it's a mattress worth considering. First up, let's take a look at how it scored across our performance categories. Starting with the high marks, Response Time, Edge Sport, and Company all earned perfect 10 out of 10 scores, with Sex not that far behind at a 9.7. From there, the performance by category somewhat nosedives with Off Gassing at a 9.1, Cooling at an 8.5, and Motion Transfer at an 8.0. This ends with the Carver's lowest scoring category being Pressure Relief with a score of 7.0. This gave the Carver an overall performance score of 8.84 out of 10. For reference, the average performance score is 9.49 out of the 197 mattresses we've tested to date. The Sealy Posh Repeated Carver is available in two firmness levels, plush and firm. We tested the firm version and found the firmness to be a 9 out of 10, where 10 is the most firm. This gives it what I would describe as an extra firm feel placing it among the most firm mattresses we've ever tested. Based on the material's construction and quality of the foam, we estimate the plush version of this mattress to be around a 6 out of 10 on the firmness scale, giving it a medium firm feel. Next, we're going to talk through what the Sealy Posturepedic Carver does best. First, the Carver has a very fast material response. This means that its top layers can reform quickly back to their original shape, making it easier to move around on the mattress. Second, the mattress has fantastic edge support. With the addition of reinforced edge coils to its design, the Carver's borders are able to support sleepers for both sitting and lying on the absolute edge. Third, it has an incredibly high level of bounce. This will make the mattress easier to move around on and also be a great benefit for sex. However, all mattresses aren't ideal for all sleepers. Let's talk through the important consideration points for the Carver. First, the mattress has a high level of motion transfer, creating the potential for sensitive sleepers to be disturbed during the night. In addition, pressure relief on the Carver is just not good. In fact, it's one of the worst performing mattresses that we've ever tested. Your body weight and sleeping position impact the types of mattress that are best able to support you. Our analysis is designed to help match the correct mattress to the right body types and sleeping positions. The Sealy Posturepedic Carver has a complex support dynamic. In our test, I found the mattress to be supportive. However, it's so incredibly uncomfortable that it creates significant pressure point issues. These pressure point issues prevent sleepers from lying comfortably in the same position. More simply put, your bedroom floor is supportive, but it's also not comfortable and not something you generally want to sleep on. The Posture Carver's comfort and support dynamic isn't that far from the floor. To feel well supported on the Carver mattress, you must prefer that extra firm feel that creates that floating feel on the mattress. If you would find lying on the floor with only a thick blanket between you and the floor, then you may find the Carver to your liking. That said, in my view, this mattress is so uncomfortable that it will be hard for most sleepers to feel well supported. To be fair, we only tested the firm version. The plush version of the Posture Beauty Carver may have a more balanced level of support. On screen now is a chart with the recommendations for each body weight and sleep position for both the firm version and the plush version of the Carver. Be sure to visit us over at naplab.com mattress quiz. There you can submit your needs and preferences and we'll send you back a personalized recommendation based on your inputs. Next up, we're gonna move on to our individual performance tests. At NapLab, we test each mattress by analyzing according to 10 different factors that impact the feel, comfort, and performance. First up, we have our cooling test. To measure cooling, we lie on the mattress for 15 minutes, allowing it to absorb body heat. Then, we get off the mattress and take periodic measurements of the surface level temperature. Our tests show how the mattress retains and releases heat and overall cooling performance. Mattresses that breathe better, retain less heat, and sleep cooler are better as they allow sleepers to maintain a comfortable temperature. The Sealy Posture Carver has good but far from great cooling performance. During our test, I felt a moderate level of warming on my body. While the mattress does utilize an inner spring layer, which helps in that there is simply less material in which heat could be retained, it also has three inches of foam within the comfort layer. In my view, the foams are low quality and retain a notable level of heat, keeping the mattress surface warmer. 
During our objective temperature test, we measured a max surface level temperature of 90.0 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 0.46 degrees warmer than average. The posture beta carver contains no significant cooling materials, features, or design elements that would help to reduce the temperature. As a result, the overall coolant performance of the carver leaves much to be desired. For the sinkage test, we lie on the mattress. In addition, we use a 12-pound medicine ball to test pressure point sinkage. Deeper sinkage can cause sleepers to feel overly enveloped by the material layers, while less sinkage can make you feel that you're sleeping more on top of the mattress as opposed to in it. Sinkage is a preference or factor. Some prefer more, others less. In our pressure point test, we measured a sinkage depth of 1.30 inches. This is 0.86 inches less sinkage than the average of 2.16 inches. Only one mattress has had less sinkage out of the 197 mattresses we've tested to date. The extremely minimal sinkage creates a significant floating feel on the mattress. There is virtually no body hug and no body contour. The carver has an extra firm feel that is not significantly different from lying on a carpeted floor with only a thick blanket between you and the floor. To test motion transfer, we place one 12-pound medicine ball on one side of the mattress and drop another 12-pound medicine ball on the opposite side. In addition, we use an accelerometer to objectively measure the motion generated by the medicine ball drop. Lower motion transfer is better as it helps sleeping partners avoid disturbing each other during the night. The Seedley Posturepedic Carver has a high level of motion transfer. In our test, we measured a total acceleration range of 13.15 meters per second squared. This is 53.2% more motion transfer than the average of 8.58 meters per second squared. The extra firm feel, inner spring coil unit, lower quality foam, and a mere three inch comfort layer are all contributing factors that are increasing the motion transfer. In our motion transfer chart, which visualizes our accelerometer data, we see the highest motion from 0 to 0 0.14 seconds. However, we see a secondary motion spike from 0 0.50 to 0 0.71 seconds and a tertiary spike from 0 0.93 to 1.16 seconds. It's not until 1.23 seconds that we return to near zero levels of energy. The motion peaks, multiple motion spikes, and lengthy motion duration all tell the same story. The posture pedic carver has a high level of motion transfer. To test response time, we place a 12 pound medicine ball on the mattress. Once it's fully at rest, we then quickly remove it and objectively measure the amount of time it takes the mattress to recover and resume its original shape. A faster response time is better as quicker responding material layers better adapt to your changes in movement and prevent any of a stuck feeling. The Sealy Posturepedic Carver has an extremely fast material response time. In our test, we measured a mostly recovered response time of 0.3 seconds and a fully recovered response time of 0.5 seconds. Both of these are notably faster than the average, being 0.11 and 0.37 seconds faster, respectively. The minimal level of foam, use of polyfoam as opposed to memory foam, inner spring coil unit, and extra firm feel are all factors that are contributing to the fast mature response. While there are many performance areas that the carver is lacking, material response speed is one of the few bright spots. To run the bounce test, we drop a 12 pound medicine ball onto the mattress. We measure the maximum depth the ball sinks to before rebounding up, as well as the maximum height it achieved on the bounce. Bounce is a preferential factor. Some prefer more, others less. However, more bounce is typically better than less as it improves ease of movement, aids in response time, and improves sex performance. The Sealy Posturepedic Carver has a very high level of bounce. In our test, we measured a total bounce height of 12.90 inches. This is 3.28 inches more bounce than the average of 9.62 inches. As with response time, the extra firm feel, minimal foam, and inner spring unit are all major contributing factors that deliver a very high level of bounce. Materials with a soft feel and more foam will serve to absorb and disperse energy, creating less bounce. The carver, instead, has a high level of material spring back and very little compression, which results in the high bounce we measured. At 12.90 inches of bounce, the carver has more bounce than I generally consider to be ideal. The higher bounce will help to improve sex and ease of movement, but it has a tremendously negative impact on motion transfer. For an assessment of edge support, I lie on and sit on the edge of the mattress to measure level of support and compression. Less sinkage while sitting and lying directly on the edge of the mattress is better, as it creates a more supportive edge for sleeping, lounging, and amorous activities. The Sealy Posturepedic Carver has exceptionally good edge support for sitting and excellent edge support for lying. 
In our sitting edge support test, we measured a sitting sinkage compression of 2.75 inches. This is 1.34 inches less sitting sinkage than the average of 4.09 inches. When sitting directly on the edge of the mattress, the carver creates ample support and there is no sensation of material collapse. Lying edge support is nearly as good. In our lying edge support test, I felt well supported in all sleeping positions. The extra firm feel is likely the most significant contributing factor to the strong edge support. In addition, the mattress is equipped with reinforced edge support coils, which also are likely having a positive impact. Our sex test uses a weighted formula to assess sex performance. Higher bounce and more supportive edges are the most important factors, with noise, pressure relief, and cooling being lesser weighted inputs. Mattresses with more bounce and better edge support perform better for sex, as do mattresses that don't make as much noise and are more comfortable to lie on. When it comes to sex, the Sealy Posturepedic does far more right than it does wrong. You and me both, Carver. And it ultimately received a high score of 9.7 out of 10. The very high level of bounce at 12.90 inches and exceptionally good edge support carry the score. These two factors account for 80% of our overall sex performance score. That said, pressure relief and cooling leave much to be desired. While the mattress creates plenty of bounce back to help keep sex partners in rhythm, it also just isn't tremendously comfortable. As a result, some may find the level of firmness is simply too severe to be a comfortable location for the dance without pants. Our pressure relief test is a measure of overall pressure relief performance. We analyze materials, layers, thicknesses, density, and design elements in conjunction with a subjective assessment of our experience while lying on the mattress. Mattresses with better pressure relief are able to create a more comfortable sleeping surface. The Sealy Posturepedic Carver has a very poor level of pressure relief. In our test, I felt significant pressure points build up along my body. This is among the most uncomfortable mattresses I have tested in my 10-year mattress testing career. Often, firm mattresses struggle to deliver a balanced combination of firmer feel and sufficient pressure relief. The Carver goes well beyond just struggling and completely fails to deliver any notable level of pressure relief or comfort to the body. Its extra firm feel comes with a very thin half inch quilted cover atop a two and a half inch polyfoam comfort layer. While three inches of comfort material may be acceptable in cases where the foams are higher quality, we don't see that here, quite the opposite. This foam feels incredibly low quality, and if I may be blunt, cheap. It has a notable crunchiness to it. We sometimes see this type of foam performance with mattresses that are old and at the end of their serviceable life. To see a foam exhibiting these qualities on day one is quite frankly alarming. Overall, I'm extremely disappointed with the pressure relief dynamic provided by the Sealy Posturepedic Carver. To evaluate off-gassing, we assess the mattress following the initial unboxing, taking a subjective measure of any strong smells. We monitor the mattress over a period of days until the mattress no longer has a strong odor. Mattresses with a less strong odor and or an odor that dissipates more quickly are better. Off-gassing on the Sealy Posturepedic Carver is strong. It took 11 days to fully off-gas. For comparison, the average off-gassing period is five days, so this is over 2x that length of time. The mattress ships uncompressed, so the strong off-gassing odor is a bit of a surprise. That being said, compression isn't the only reason mattresses smell when opened. The company's course has a look at the factors that may influence your experience with the mattress. Mattresses sold by Sealy.com typically come with a 90 night trial period and a 10 year warranty. Shipping is free, but if the mattress ends up not working out, returns cost $175. That said, the Sealy Posturepedic Carver is sold and distributed by Costco primarily. At Costco, the terms are far more favorable, offering essentially a lifetime trial period. At any point, you can return the mattress for a full refund, assuming the mattress is in good condition without any damage. Therefore, the Carver received a company score of 10 out of 10, with every factor being as nearly as good as it gets. That said, this company score is really reflective of Costco and not Sealy. For reference, the average trial period is 163 nights and the average warranty is 14 years, excluding the 25% of mattresses that offer a lifetime warranty. I would recommend the Poshtopedic Carver for sleepers who are looking for a coil mattress with a very firm feel. While the Carver does offer a medium firm version rated at a 6 out of 10, the firm version is nearly as firm as they come at a 9 out of 10 where 10 is the most firm. Furthermore, the price is affordable at only $700 for a queen size at the time of recording of this review. The Costco warranty plus free shipping and returns also makes this an appealing mattress to try. From a performance perspective, the Carver has fast responding materials and a very high bounce. 
together, it means the mattress has fantastic ease of movement. Finally, it provides exceptional support for both sitting and lying at the absolute edge of the mattress for those who like to use the edge of the bed for getting ready in the morning or for amorous activities. All that said, this remains a hard mattress for us to recommend. Ultimately, we felt like the poor pressure relief performance is just too severe for this mattress to be comfortable. While the price, response time, and edge support are great, there are a number of other similarly priced mattresses that have significantly better performance. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comments or questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Sealy, we've got a link in the description. For more from NapLab, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at naplab.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.